Well, hey everyone, how's it going? It's John here with another Genetry Solar video. In this video, real quick, I just want to make sure to give you some information here. I have an 8,000 watt power jack unit here, and um, power jack is still using the bolt insulator, this little plastic piece that's on the underside. I got this inverter upside down. This is a brand new inverter. Um, but even though it's brand new, what you can see here is this insulator is actually starting to break. I have to replace this insulator because if it gets much more broke than that, then it will end up just breaking out. Then what will happen is this bolt that has a lot of tension on it, at least this bolt head will be allowed to move up, you know, a quarter of an inch up down, right? Well, that's seems like it wouldn't be that big of a deal but it actually is because it does allow the transformer to wiggle and this will be allowed to move because then it can pivot back and forth so it's very important that as soon as you get your new power jack inverter it doesn't matter what size it is because they use these for all power jack inverters it's very important that you look on the underside of the inverter and you check this insulator, this black insulator here. If it is broke or cracked or you see pieces around, especially in this area here, immediately get a hold of power jack and, um, you know, through the seller, eBay, Amazon, whatever, and let them know, send them a picture of it, and they will likely have you send it in for service or send you a replacement. This here, believe it or not, does require major surgery to get to. It's not something you can just replace on the surface. So the inverter does need to be opened up. The bracket needs to be removed. The bolt needs to be removed. It is a process. While not difficult, it just is time consuming. So PowerJack will more than likely just have you send it in for service or send you a replacement or an exchange. So uh, again, I cannot speak for what PowerJack does. And disclaimer, I do service inverters for PowerJack, but this is incredibly important because i'm seeing a lot more of these things breaking even brand new in the box inverters that have never even been opened they are starting to experience these issues here so um, i have sent the information to power jack obviously they know based on returns but unfortunately many people don't actually check this and then when they go to power on the inverter you may not notice anything at all but believe it or not that transformer inside is being shorted to the case and it's heating up real fast i have actually demonstrated this in a previous video of how hot these actually get because they're essentially turning the case or the bracket that's on the inside into another coil it gets really really hot so um, bad news so make sure this is intact again i have to replace this one on a brand new unit because it is already failing you see some parts of it are already gone so it is failing so i do have to replace this unfortunately so just keep that in mind for anyone who is purchasing a new power jack converter check this underneath it is okay to tip it upside down i mean in shipping it's probably been tipped upside down 30 different times to get to your place so it's okay to tip it upside down. In fact, you can do it on the foam here. If you're worried about scratching your table or anything else like that, just uh, flip it over, just take it out of the box, flip it over and check this to make sure that it's intact. If it's intact, you're most likely okay. If it's damaged like this one that needs to be replaced, well, then obviously uh, the inverter is not going to function properly and will likely, likely shut down on you due to overheat or cause other issues so a good idea to check that before you power on your power jack inverter if you have any questions let me know of course genetrysolar.com thanks again for all of your support and take care